There is one prepper cache location remaining to be checked in Pleasant Valley this run, so if one spawned, it'll be there. And then we will have looted most of the zone. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. All right. We have just woken up. The weather outside seems absolutely tranquil, which is making me nervous. I want to step into the um, fireplace room here, the living room, let's call it that. We're going to drop some stuff that we're carrying that's not necessarily needed. Drop that newsprint. Anything else I can get rid of? I think I'm carrying... Yeah, clothes I'm stocked. Water I'm still a little bit light on. And did I grab the cooking pots? Where's that? Drop any of this gear. <laughs> okay, you see that's extra gear. Damn it. What I really need to do is, is read for a bit before I go anywhere. But I would really like to... I might, I might read before I go to Timberwolf Mountain, which is on the agenda. But let's... um. It's going to take an hour. How are we doing? Yeah, I can afford that. Let's do it. This will lighten my load a little bit. I could eat anything right now. Beautiful. All right. Yeah, so you can definitely do multiple crafting now, which is quite cool. All right, I'm going to try my best. I'll go ahead and eat the tin of sardines because it's 300 calories. Don't give me food poisoning, you bastard. Thank you. Sardines can give you food poisoning at a much higher condition, from what I understand. I can't recall if it's ever happened to me, but from what I understand, they can. So that's why I said... That's why I said, don't give me food poisoning. Please don't. All right, so we are still somewhat loaded down. A little bit over our limit. Sure would be nice to have that... Moosehide satchel. Alright, so there's the new outhouse. Uh, or the, I guess you call it. It's not quite an outhouse. Outhouse, when you typically use that phrase, you're referring to a uh, portable restroom. But it's an outbuilding. An out shelter, if you will. All right, so what happened before, I think, is that I don't quite know where this one is. But I think what happened is that, remember when we were looking for, there was a prepper cache over here, and as I recall, we were looking for it, and I found myself at the bottom of a waterfall, and I think I needed to be at the top of the falls. This is one that I have been to, so... Yeah, I've checked this car already, I know that because the hood's open. We were looking for the battery, and there wasn't a battery! The car betrayed me. Is there a battery magically there now? No, of course not. Why would there be a battery magically there now? But let's, um... Let's just walk up this way. Because the waterfall is at the back of this river. I think I can... hear the beginnings of the water running in the background. Well, tell you what, let me... Eventually, we are going to get up to the top of the fall. We'll walk around as much as we need to, but I'm low enough on calories that I would like to keep my head on a swivel for cattails that I haven't found yet. That's how you know Pleasant Valley is being way too nice to me, is that I'm not as, like, crazy for cattails right now as I normally am. When we get up to, Tim to uh, Timberwolf Mountain, there will be lots of cattails to be had. I've already been along this part of the river, I think, so I don't believe I'm going to find any. Might find some. If I have been accidentally... I mentioned last episode that I might have been or accidentally um, dropping my Tinder when picking up cattails because I'm in that habit from late-stage gameplay. Once you get to a certain level of fire starting, you no longer need Tinder to start fires. I think I'm going to go up this way. Assuming I don't run into any wolves. 
which is quite an assumption to make, and I probably will anyway. I'm going to go up this way and then go back that way, because I think... The last prepper cache possible location is up in that general area above the falls, beyond those rocks there in the middle of the screen. Is that a cave? That's a cave. You see the icicles marking the entrance? Or maybe it's not a cave. I don't know. Is that an entrance? It kind of looks like one, maybe. I'll go up there and, and check. Just to be sure. Keep my eye on my left side just to make sure there are no wolves, too. I don't know if I can even get up there to look. I don't think there's a cave. I should be able to glance at it as I walk this way. And know for sure. Because I need to go this way anyway. No, there's not a cave. Just looks like there should be one. Fake me out. Icicles usually denote a cave, but not that time. Please don't sprain. Thank you. I didn't find any cattails. Not sure... I don't remember what this cache contains. I'm just trying to find my way up to it. Yeah. Because we're encumbered, we're at a higher risk for sprains at the moment. We're not on sloped ground, so we're okay. Okay. Now we're at the top of the falls. There's a couple of places we can check here now, as far as fully looting the zone is concerned. A couple of places we haven't been yet. Ah, damn. Well, I'm pretty sure that's where it's supposed to be if it spawns. Let's... Look around this corner just to be 100% about it. Uh, sad day. Well, that confirms it. Prepper Cache is not always a guaranteed spawn in Pleasant Valley. On these settings, it does spawn. We saw it in Season 5. I got really excited. Maybe when we come back down from Timberwolf, I'll check a map just to be sure. I see a scraped tree over there, so there's a moose in this area, potentially. Speaking of wildlife, there could also be a wolf nearby. Possibly even on the ice here, so. But this is the area I was talking about that we hadn't quite visited yet, so since we're back here, and there's definitely cattails too, yay! Double click. There we go. Nothing there. That looks like a structure, but it's not. <laughs> I'm double taking at those posts sticking out of the snow. Alright, so we'll duck into that hut in just a moment, but first I'm grabbing cattails because we need calories. We need caloric value in our lives. Could be a wolf right past that. What would you call that? Picnic area? I don't know the specific name of that structure type. Anything in the boat? Nope. No cattails in front of me. Anything sticking into the wood of the dock? Because that's a thing. Alright, so I'll eat those cattails in a minute, but first let me step over here. This is another spot where the wolf could be potentially right over this ridge. New music. I think.
Another hunting knife. More cedar firewood. Dog food, hey. Sewing primer. Haven't found one of those yet. Good. All right, so this is... I'm glad I came up here. This is quite nice. We're carrying some scrap metal that's, frankly, weighing us down a little bit. Might leave it behind at Thompson's Crossing. All right, so... Speaking of Thompson's Crossing, fastest way back would be... Let's, let's go this way, I since I know there's no wolves. Oh, also... Really? Just three? I thought I found more than three. I found the, the dog food, though, and that's good enough. I'm going to eat that right now, as a matter of fact. Because dog food is moist. My apologies for using that word. Dog food is moist. Did it again. So it will help my thirst a little bit while giving me 500 calories. Thank you very much. Now if I harvest that, what do I get? Nothing. Okay. Dropping the extra knife. Don't need it. Speaking of things I need to drop. Let's also drop that torch. I only need two torches on me. Oh, there's a cattail. Okay. So I missed a cattail. Seems to be getting a little chillier. Oh, we're a lot closer to that moose tree now. Doesn't mean the moose is necessarily nearby, but I'm still going to be careful, like he is, because I would prefer not to have Jennifer's rib crack ribs cracked this episode. So let's make our way back to Thompson's Crossing now. It's not that far. Now I'm racking my brain to... I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments. I'm recording this, at this point, pretty far in advance. You guys are watching this in January, but it's December for me. Very late December. Of course, you're watching this in early January. I'm making it sound like I'm recording a month in advance. I, No, it's just... We're close to New Year's. But, um, so you... I might not be able to... Well, I definitely won't be able to react to comments for a bit. Because the recording schedule is gaining steam during the break, which is what was supposed to happen before I got sick. <laughs> I would have started this series the same week. The plan was to start it the same week that I did the podcast with Athenon, but I had to wait almost like a week and a half, I think. I might have even waited almost two weeks because what happened is, I, I think what it was was that it, it was either one week later or, or like a week and a half later. I don't remember the exact timing. It was like right before Christmas, and I was like, well, I've got the episode done, but I don't want to debut it until it's after the holiday so that people who are celebrating can enjoy it. There's a wolf down there. Jeez, this is cold. Yeah, it is cold. It's also, oh, right as I said it. All right, so can't equip a two-handed weapon, but we can equip a one-handed weapon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just walk the sprain off for now. We'll shoot a round off at any wolves that come close. I can see the barn from here. Damn, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Uh, Serves me right. I know. I'm just walking along willy-nilly, not paying attention. How many bandages do I even have on me? None. I feel like I just heard a bear. Got two bandages. It takes ten minutes. Two bandages is exactly how many I need. Obnoxious. Alright, I am going to walk down here. I'm going to risk a another sprain or three by walking down this very steep slope there to the edge of this. Now there is... This, I'm very close to where I saw that wolf, by the way, so I need to be careful. We're also close to hypothermia risk, so I will start losing condition in a moment, but we're also close to Thompson's Crossing. I have a few more places to search there. I'm not expecting great loot. We've been through the good areas. But there are a few spots that could still have something good. 
And then, with the exception of things I've overlooked, which I've mostly gone back like the revolver and grabbed that, then we would have explored Pleasant Valley. Fully. Which is pretty cool. Alright, I see a cattail. This is the whole reason that I'm walking where I'm walking. That track that was just playing is another one of my favorites. Has been for a long time. That's an older track. It's been in the game for longer than the longer one that I enjoy that I tend to shut up while it plays. It's a... kind of a guitar-heavy track. You guys know the one I mean. I can't remember what the name of it is. I, I eventually will mark it by name, because I have used it in videos, and so I know what its name is when I'm, like, editing a, a video. <laughs> we're, we're blocked from the window right now, so we're warming up. Yeah, when I'm, like, editing a video, then I then I will have the song by name, and I'll put the, the audio file in the recording, but I don't know off the top of my head what the name of the file is, what the name of the recording so is, cool. rather. Lay down for a bit. You will be okay. Stop being so dramatic. I know, I know. I need to be nice to Jennifer this time. I've been nicer to her in the past. She has new lines. They're less repetitive. Wait. So cold. I'm warming up a bit. That up there, I know it's not, but it looks like a crashed bus at this distance. Let's avoid sprains, shall we? It does. It really does. So now we are fully equipped to take on whatever wolf. It's just a rock. The crashed bus is in Milton. There is a crashed bus. Just not here. Just not here. I can tell I've recorded a couple of long episodes in this recording session because I'm looking at the clock going, huh, I should totally be doing other work right now, but I'm still playing. I must have gone over 10 or 15 minutes twice. For those of you wondering why I don't do longer episodes, that's why. I can keep them to within a half hour or a little bit less each episode. I finish a recording session with some time to spare before the next thing that I need to do. And, um... I mean, yeah, I could just I could just as easily arbitrarily say that I do longer episodes, but I wouldn't be able to do as many at that point. So it's like either more episodes at a shorter length or fewer episodes. I do take it as a compliment, for the record. I really appreciate it when people are like, you know, please make longer episodes because what you're saying is that you're enjoying the content and you want to sit there watching for longer. And when episodes end after you know, 25, 30 minutes, you're like, oh, you want more. That's, uh, I, I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. But I do, that comment comes in a lot. Like, why don't you make longer episodes? Like, why, why is it only 30 minutes? And I've commented on it a few times, but that's why. Because I'm not a full-time YouTuber. Frankly, even if I was a full-time YouTuber, what I would probably do is still make episodes about this length and just make more series and have like four or five series going at once. Because I could do that with the kind of recording schedule that I run. If I didn't have the other things I needed to do with my time, that's what I would do. Ah, we're warming up now. Nice. So the weather's improved a little bit. I'm going to step down to the edge of the river here. There's this one area we haven't looked yet. Plus, there could potentially be cattails. So there's the... Really? Really? The wolf is right there? Okay, the wolf might spot me when I go down there. We'll see. That's that's exactly the stretch of... Well, that means the wolf is farther away from the rest of the buildings, though. So if I go now towards the other buildings I need to search, that's actually good. But the wolf is there and not any closer. Okay. Anything in here? Wow. Nothing. Okay. Anything in the boat? Okay. 
Nothing. All right. Uh, okay. Well, let's run up this way. He could have turned around, so I still need to be cautious here. Some fresh sticks, because reasons. Always good to have a small stack of those on hand. All right, I did see him walking back this way. Yep, Wolf has turned around, I think. It's kind of a black blob there, but that last glimpse I got of him was a little bit more foreboding. So we'll stay on this side of the road. I don't know if this house is burned out or not. I think I just saw a burned out house, so we might have to duck into... Yeah, it's burned out. Burned out. stuck into the car. Leave me alone. I don't want to deal with you. Actually, not the smartest way of resolving this situation. I'm going to walk back this way and see if there's anything going on over here. This tractor, of course, is not one that I can raid. Whenever I see a tractor, it's like, oh, hey, stuff. But no, if, if, if it's if it's a rider tractor rather than a cabin-based tractor, then no. All right, so hang on. I'm going to see if I can dance with that wolf and avoid its attention. I might be able to and get to that other house. Maybe. Nope, just started coming this way. Damn it. So rude. I just want to scavenge that one. Oh, it turned around again. Good. Right, that building is the one I want to get to. Is it closed? Oh, it's closed. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I can't get into either of those then. But well, well, okay. Let me check something. Since I found a bedroll, one of our longtime against all odds and just channel regulars mentioned a potential bedroll spawn. <laughs> I was kind of cheeky about it because the comment was was left in in the context of like, don't read this if you don't want to be spoiled. So I was like, well, I'll read it, but then I will resolve myself not to go looking there for a bedroll until I find one elsewhere, which is what I did. So now I'm going to take advantage of that particular hint, because apparently there's something back here. I don't quite know where it is, but it does seem like there is something to be explored up here. And I might find some other things of note. I do have some reading that I need to do. I just don't have a lot of food at the moment. How am I? I've got a couple of cattails. But I, yeah, I'm starting to get kind of light on food. I'm going to need to drop a deer at some point. See what I just did there? Give myself a few seconds, a few seconds uh, free of sprain risk. Okay, so maybe, maybe it's not here. Maybe it's farther back. Hang on. I don't know because I'm, I, I mean, I made it all the way up that slope, so I, I don't want to go back down unless I know. I'm looking for a cave, by the way. Just to be quite clear what I'm fumbling around trying to find. Let me not go all the way up there because I might not be able to get down. See, this seems farther away than the initial comment indicated. Hmm. I don't want to wander too far, seeing as how I'm about to end an episode here. So let's... I, w I guess I will go back down the way I came a little bit. It would be a miracle if I make it down from here without any sprains. 
Shouldn't even say it, I know. Especially because I'm encumbered. I'm look around here to the right. I'm probably spraying while I'm on the way. Yep, there it is. See, the icicles made me feel like maybe there's something over here. Hmm. Nope, don't, don't see anything. I'll have to go back and read the comment in more detail. But, um, evidently there's a cave somewhere back here that might have had a bedroll in it. But, uh, I will go ahead and, well, no. I'm not even going to worry about healing the sprain. As long as I don't run into a wolf in the next couple of seconds, I'm fine. I'm going to go back to Thompson's Crossing. We're going to kind of gather our wits. Maybe, uh... Do some hunting nearby to get some calories in us. But the thing is, if we go to Timberwolf Mountain, there will be cattails to feed us. So, um... It's good to go to Timberwolf Mountain light. Nice and light. And we will certainly be doing so. No car battery in the truck either. Sad day. Stumble, stumble, stumble. <laughs> okay. This makes it seem much more foreboding than it actually is. But we're going to go to Thompson's Crossing. We are going to take this as a stopping point. And what I might do, I might check a map of Pleasant Valley just to be absolutely sure that I've fully scavenged this lovely zone. But we are ready to go to Temple Wolf Mountain, I believe. So yeah, we're going to take that, uh, that save point we just got as our stopping point. Next episode, we are going to, again, take stock of how we are looking and make our way toward that area of the zone, which we haven't been to yet. There is one cache that's always there that spawns. There's not going to be anything there. Or there's going to be very little there. But uh, we might find a few things there and then make our way up to, uh, to the other plane crash and see what kinds of goodies it has in store for us this time. Hopefully just as nice, if not nicer, than last time. The only thing is that we only have one hacksaw, and uh, that's not going to last us through all of those containers necessarily. So hopefully I'll find another one up in Timberwolf. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.